So how does the tail of a comet relate to meteorites? Well, the tail of a comet is dust and other particles which are either brushed or blown off the surface of the comet by the solar winds. The tail appears to be moving rapidly away from the body of the comet, whereas the comet itself only appears to very slowly move in an elliptical orbit around the sun. The truth is that the tail remains relatively still compared to the speed of the comet, much the same way as the contrail of a jet aircraft, and also, just like it, it's slowly spreading out over time. Now, when the orbit of the Earth takes it through the path of a comet's tail, the dust and other debris from the tail burn up in the atmosphere, creating a meteorite shower. How active the meteorite shower is, or how many meteorites per hour are seen in the sky depends upon a few simple factors. The most obvious of these is how much material was being ejected from the comet in the first place. The more material that's ejected, the more material that actually hit our atmosphere. Next is how long was it since the comet crossed the orbit of the Earth? The longer time has passed, the more time the debris has had time to dissipate. The final one is the orbit of the Earth itself. The orbit of the Earth actually isn't flat, it actually has very small variations in the path. So the number of meteorites that pass through it depends if the Earth passes through the centre of the tail or just kind of clips the edge of it. That's how the tail of the comet relates to numbers of meteorites hitting the Earth. Hope you liked it.